Well, it can't go right all the time, can it? More on this bit later. No music? Yeah, right. So, we have all these now straightened out, tweaked on the press, as you've just seen. Uh, and I've just quickly tacked them all together because we're going to machine out all these holes all at the same time. Well, obviously not all piled up, but you know, the two coupling rods will do each end of them at the same time. The connecting rod will do each end of them at the time. You get the idea. And I thought to make it easier, we'll tack the cranks together as well. I've already done two, because the idea with this is that they're going to get keyed. So if I can keep the, the pair together, we can use that one pair for one set of wheels. You'll see, you'll get the idea. So they're ready now for machining. We've had a delivery. If it'll fit on here. Just about. 25mm ENA for the crank pins. Ooh. We've also had some other deliveries. I've got some more files. This time, the square kind. Now I've bought these from RDG Tools. I kind of like RDG tools. They sort of get the stuff to you reasonably quick. And uh, the quality seems to be always good. So that's quite nice. Nicely of them though, when you buy files from RDG, you always get two in a pack. So we have two six inch second cut square files and a two eight inch square cut files. Now RDG, being very nice, sent me 
me a fifth one. Now I think they've sent me this one because it's it's getting a little bit of surface rust on here and there. But uh, there's nothing wrong with the file. It'll work perfectly fine. Just needs a bit of a brush. Now, if you buy files and you don't do this, then you're very silly and you could injure yourself. Because when you buy files, you should also buy file handles because that going in your wrist would really hurt. Now the file handles, these came from Zorro Tools because these worked out cheaper than RDG, which is quite surprising. And I also decided to buy some of this. These are an assorted bag of emery strips. They're about 12 inches long, I think. And uh, it has a, a wide range of grades. Uh, the coarsest one looks like uh, gravel, to be honest. I uh, don't know whether I'll ever use those, but you never know. I thought I'd get a mixed bag. We've got some things coming up, turning, that we might need to polish a little bit. So I bought a pack of those to find out what's going to be the best grade. Most likely not the gravel one. What on earth is going on here then? Now do you remember when I welded in a piece at the back here? Well, I put it in the wrong place because I thought that's where it should go. But in a conversation with my good friend at the club, who has a Tinkerbell, as we've already discussed, his wasn't here. His was further forward, making the seating area a little more generous. And he had put his centralizing system for his pony truck here. If I had kept the plate there, I couldn't put my centralizing system. So I've had to make some modifications. So here is the foot plate, the original foot plate, and I have removed this back section here, uh, cleaned up all the welds so it's neat and tidy, but I've modified the underside. With the milling machine, we've cleaned off the tread along this section and this is where the back plate that was here originally is now going to be welded and the corners here have been machined because we've got to put some brackets on that bolt on for a bar that curves across for the centralizing system which is coming up in a future video while i was at it i also took the opportunity to just take down the boss because it was sticking up a little bit too much for the pin. There we are. That's what's been happening on the steam engine since the last video, which as you can tell, is actually not a lot. This is due to the fact that I am having to put a little bit more concentration on the business. The world economics is really screwing everybody over. So I'm having to do 10 times as much work as I was doing before in the business. So I don't have as much time on the steam engine, which is a kicker because I really enjoy doing the steam engine, but unfortunately it doesn't pay me any money. So hopefully once things have improved with the business and it's back to where, where I'm comfortable, it'll be full steam ahead on the engine. There's lots of things planned, there's lots of things get, I'm sort of getting ready as you've already seen in this video. I'm getting all the rods ready to machine, we've had the delivery of the material for the crank pins. The centralizing system, I've pretty much got the design now, I just need to make it. I'm going to try my very best to produce a video at least once a month to keep going until we, we get to where we're, we're back to weekly. Just a massive thanks to everybody who supports the channel. A big thank you to everybody who subscribes, clicks the like button. We've not gone away, we've not vanished. I'm just having to do some other stuff. So with that, if you like what you've seen in the video, in any other video, then check this video out over here because you may enjoy that one as well. Unless you've already watched it. Then you might enjoy it the second time too. Stay safe. 
Laters.